when we are talking about antenatal ultrasound scenario in india we see that only 24% of the pregnant women are undergoing one ultrasonography throughout pregnancy that means almost 3/4 of the ladies are not undergoing any ultrasound and because of this sad scenario we are seeing that we diagnose many anomalies at the time of birth of the baby like the open neural tube defect like the nn cephaly like the heart defects which are diagnosed in the neonatal period in our practice in the antenatal ultrasound most common anomalies which we found are open neural tube defects heart anomalies like ventricular septal defect transposition of great arteries and also renal anomalies with the advancement of technology like 3D and 4D what we have found in our practice is that when we are seeing the anomalies we are diagnosing it with great authority second thing is that it is useful in communication communication with the patient as well as the referring consultant suppose you are seeing a cleft lip and if you can show the image of 3d to the patient as well as the referring doctor it creates huge confidence in the diagnosis with the advancement in the ultrasound technology when we see color doppler power doppler and also the 3d 4d and stick there is a huge increase in the detection of cardiac anomalies in the antenatal period with this the advantage over here is that you can counsel the patient they are prepared some which are with poor prognosis the patient can have the option of termination and in those which are minor defects patient can be monitored in the neonatal period delivered at a tertiary perinatal center and the baby can be looked after in the best possible way so these are the major advances of the fetal echocardiography which has decreased the perinatal morbidity and mortality because of this defects there is a huge lacune when we are considering the fetal medicine specialist and the facilities which are available to the antenatal mothers in terms of antenatal ultrasound in india especially so there is a huge scope in future wherein we can cover almost 3/4 of the antenatal mothers who are lacking this facilities 